So since today is the Golden Globes as of this recording, which today it is uh, January 8th of 2017, and today is the day where you get to find out a personal story about me, I think I would talk about the, how I got interested into movies. Now for some of you out there who know me pretty well, I am a pretty big movie nut. I have been into movies since I was about 7 years old. I've wanted to be a director for a long time, and that's what I'm pursuing to be later on in life. And I'm also a film critic. So I'm going to tell you people the story of how I got into movies. Well, when I was a very little kid, first of all, you know, I, the one thing I, first of all, when I was a little kid, I wasn't exactly the most athletic person out of them all, and I wasn't the smartest person out of them all. And I didn't take interest in those things a lot. However, the one thing I always took interest in when I was especially a little kid was watching TV shows, such as Arthur, The Misadventure. The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and I was always fascinated by the moving visuals and how the voice acting worked. I was fascinated by it. So then, when I was seven years old, so then when I was around set, so then I remember always seeing the Disney movies as kids, and I was being like, "Wow, that's so cool." But then I specifically remember one time I was over at a friend's house when I was about nine years old, and they popped in Raiders of the Lost Ark, and my God, did I love that movie! Like. I think I've watched that movie like over two time over two times, and that's a rarity for me because I usually re watch movies only once. So I remember watching it, and I was just fascinated by it. Then I saw Temple of Doom like the next week after that. Then the next week I saw uh, the Last Crusade, and I was thinking, "Oh man, that's the last Indiana Jones movie. When are they, they going to ever make another one?" And then like the very like. That Friday, I went to the movies and I saw a poster for like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I was like, "Wow, that's incredible!" And then I went to go see it. And I actually liked that movie, to be honest. I know a lot of people don't, but I really liked it. But yeah, so and then, and so then I kept seeing movies. And then at one point during when I was like nine years old, I had I had talked to my dad about wanting to be a director. He says, "You're gonna have to work for it, son." And I was scared by that, admittedly at first. Because, you know, I didn't. Really, I thought that work was a bad thing. But I kept wanting to be a director for a long time. Until I got to middle school, really, at that point. Because, you know, middle school wasn't exactly the best time, best years of my life. And, you know, I wanted to go into game development for the longest time. Like, between, I think, like, 6th grade and ninth grade, I wanted to go into game development. And so then I tried out programming and game design in ninth grade. And to... To keep a long story short, that didn't go exactly the direction I wanted to. So then I wanted to go into marketing for whatever reason. So I took a couple classes on that. And then after 11th grade, when I finished the marketing class, I was like, this is stupid. Like, why? This is so boring. Why would I want to do this? So then I was thinking back to, like, what I wanted to do because I was thinking about college and thinking about what field I would really pursue. And as I kept thinking about it, I went back to my childhood and I thought to myself, what was the one thing I was interested in? And then I realized it was filmmaking. So I was like, okay, so let me go back to this. And I've been taking some classes in filmmaking and I'm in love with it and I want to pursue it. So yeah, people, that's the brief story of how I got into, how I got into my love with movies. And especially directors like Steven Spielberg, more recently Stanley Kubrick, Robert Zemeckis, I mean, you name it. Like, you know, I've been a movie fan, and I will tell you more movie stories throughout this year. But yeah, so that's basically one cool story about me. So thank you, people. I'm thankful to be alive today, and I will see you tomorrow for news coverage. So see you. So thank, thank you, people. Have a good night. Bye.